is a My Froggy Stuff Challenge. We were challenged to make a doll room using back to school supplies. Challenge accepted. Now, let's go to the store for our supplies. Break it down, break it down. I'm gonna get a new one. I'm gonna get a new one. Just throw it out. <laughs> wow, we were able to find some stuff. And I'm thinking that anything from the stationary part of the store to the back to school display area is fair game. A lot of stuff that we wanted to get was sold out, so we're gonna have to make do with what we got. I'm starting with a locker shelf, and this is going to be the basic structure of my room. It is 12 inches tall, so the doll should be able to fit right underneath. I am going to use folders to make walls. I just take the folder and flip it the wrong way, place it underneath the shelf, to make a corner room. I really like this glitter on the wall, however I think this color is making the room a little too dark. Let's try this cactus print instead. Add a locker rug. This is a light that can be used in a locker. It is by Locker Style. I'm going to use it as a counter. Okay, hmm. Our dolls are gonna need somewhere to sit. This is a little more difficult <laughs> than I thought. Let's try using a book cover. I have some small packs of Kleenex. These were in the school supply section. I placed them inside the book cover. I've got four right here, and I place four more on the other side. Take one side and fold it over, then lift up the other side, place it against the wall for a couch that can be folded down to make a bed. I found these cactus erasers at Office Max. We can place those on the counter, write on sticky notes, frame it with washi tape, trim it for art on the wall. I found this acrylic pencil cup. I flip it over so it's upside down to use as a table. Our couch is a little low, so we're going to add some more Kleenex to the bottom to raise it up higher. I found these paper clips at Michael's. I thought they were kind of cute because they look like diamonds. I pull the back of the paper clip up slightly so it can stand up, making a cute little decoration. At Target, we found these adorable magnets. I'm going to attach it to the wall by using a paper clip on the other side of the folder. I put it on some post-it note art to help it stand out. Since it's a magnet, the paper clip helps it to stay on the wall without any glue giving our dolls a cozy place to hang out. Turn it into a loft by adding another locker rug to the top, place a book inside of another book cover, place it on top for a mattress. I cut a little piece off the end of the book cover to make a pocket to hold two tissues, use tape to secure the ends, to make a pillow for the bed. Use erasers for stuffed animals on the bed to finish the room. And our doll looks pretty comfy inside. Maybe she would like an eraser coffee so she can do a lot of studying in her new school supplies room. And I think it's pretty cool that almost everything can still be used as school supplies because we didn't really alter anything. Well, except for that one book cover that I cut to make the bed. But other than that, everything is still usable. And if we want to change our wallpaper, we just have to change the folder for a whole new look. Now we challenge you to make your own school supplies room. Post a pic on Instagram using hashtag MyFroggySuffFanPics. If you've got an idea for a doll room challenge, let us know in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting. It's like a tree. to give the shout out to AG Australia 65 what is up
Welcome to World's Tiniest Living Spaces! I am your host, Navi! Welcome to my home! Not you! Again! And this time you are living in a locker shelf? Uh, like yeah. That's it. I'm done. Wait! Don't you want a tour? Where it's always shy.